A cold, snowy April day outside of Valley Fields. But on the inside, the Marquette women's lacrosse team looks to bring the heat against the number 18 Notre Dame Fighting Irish. <laughs> Plenty of fans from both sides make an appearance, including some famous ones. Marquette starts out quickly scoring the first goal of the match to set the tone on offense, but Notre Dame immediately answers back, scoring the equalizer and stringing together six unanswered goals. The Golden Eagles continue to struggle defensively and go into halftime down 15 to three. The final two frames fare better for Marquette, outscoring Notre Dame 7-4, but it's too little too late as the Golden Eagles run out of luck against the Fighting Irish, falling 19-10. I think we started to show that effort in the second half a lot better. Like, we are fighting for some of those scrappy 50-50 balls that in the first half we were sort of just assuming they were going to get and, and sort of playing reactive rather than being aggressive and going after them. Senior midfielder Lydia Faust is among three Golden Eagles to score a pair of goals in the match. We did well with the opportunities we did have. We really struggled to get the ball in the first half, so that didn't give us a lot of opportunities to score goals. But when we did have the ball, I thought we were successful. Marquette takes on the Georgetown Hoyas in its final home match Sunday afternoon. Reporting from Valley Fields, I'm Tyler Peters, Marquette Wire Sports.